Okay, so what we're doing is our first homing test. And uh, one thing that you need to definitely keep in mind is that I have my, my power right beside me. Basically, if you're not really careful, you're going to destroy your computer or your printer immediately after you make it. You're not going to destroy it, but you're going to feel really bad whenever it makes all those horrible, horrible noises and grinds up. Um, so, what we what we what we did in the previous video was we went ahead and we lowered the speed that the printer moves for the homing procedure. And the reason we did this was so that we could see we could make sure that the that it just didn't destroy itself. We want it to move slow enough so that we have time to react. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect to Proner Face and okay so we are connected and I still have my SD init fail and what I'm going to do is simply I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to simply home it. And I want you to watch the, the behavior of the printer. Okay. So, as you can see there, our homing procedure is moving in the, in the opposite direction that we want it to. Now, this is why we wanted to lower the, the speed of our printer movement. This allows us to have time to turn it off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and modify a few things to invert the direction of uh, the of the invert the direction of our motors so that we don't have to rewire it in the firmware. And we're going to go ahead and try this homing procedure again.